Hey, Russell. Um, the game tomorrow is. Are you expecting maybe like a All Star game or a chance for you guys to actually get ready and play for the Olympics and competitive like it was a couple of years ago, the last time that the team USA played? WSA? Yeah, um, definitely competitive. I think that um, we're trying to get ready for the Olympics, and this is an amazing weekend. It's been amazing, like hospitality by Phoenix and uh, everything, but uh, we have to be locked in because our our time together is so short and you know understanding that and also knowing uh what happened last time we had team usa versus the all-star uh, didn't go our way hi guys um you both played in that game against belgium that was very very close has that put any fire you know when you saw them in the same group was there any little fire that you saw that you're excited about that game um, I don't mean, I don't even think we've talked about that yet. I think we're all taking it, um, kind of one step at a time. Um, but I think understanding, like we've played them, um, you know, we understand what they're capable of doing and we just got to control what we can and be the best that we can be every single day. And like Stewie said, all these days, um, of practice of games are really important for us to continue to build chemistry and go out and be the best team that we know we can be. Coming from a team success, um, from, from the season, how is your mental preparation going into the Olympics? Is something that you do different? Any nuances that you are, are changing or is this business as usual? Yeah, I mean, I think definitely business as usual. Um, obviously, uh, I was talking about it a little bit earlier. When it's an Olympic year, it's always tough because we're locked into our W team for the first 25 games of the season. And now that we've made it to the Olympic break, we can kind of switch gears a little bit, focus on Team USA. and. Um, just getting the chemistry, getting the feel, understanding that, you know, we're playing with people that we don't normally play with. And um, the amount of respect between players uh, makes it really exciting because we want to go out, we want to work um, and get get everything kind of firing on, on all cylinders and um, enjoy this experience, you know, for Saab and, and for the other first timers. These things, um, people dream about being in the Olympics in these moments and um, just making sure that we, we kind of, take advantage of everything and um, see what Paris has in store for us. Uh, next question, center. Thanks. Uh, Greg Moore, Arizona Republic. Good to see you guys. How tough is it or, you know, what is the process of establishing the roles on the Olympic team? Um, honestly, I don't think it's that tough because everyone is unselfish and, you know, we want to find the best shot available. And that doesn't have to be always the same person or whatever the case may be. Obviously, as basketball players, we know if someone is hot, we're going to continue to feed them and get them the ball. Um, but we're going to try to, you know, use our defense to to really disrupt, get out in transition and, you know, use our size to to kind of dominate in, in all areas in the paint. Next question. Front row to your left. Dana Scott, also Arizona Republic. Just wondering about how it feels to have the two best teams in the league on that I-95 belt and, you know, between Connecticut and New York right there, you know, and also representing your country, of course, overseas together. I mean, honestly, I'm just happy we don't have to go up and down with the traffic because that <laughs> is crazy. Um, yeah, I think that, you know, between us and Connecticut, we've had great starts to to this season and um you know we always play each other really really tough um and i think that you know both both hungry for a championship and knowing that you know championships aren't just built overnight and it starts with the way you start your season and um you know that's what we've been doing is and i can't speak much for connecticut but just knowing how they are um but for us in the liberty just making sure we take it one game at a time locking in on what we need to do and uh focusing on ourselves first so i think that um we're happy to be in the position position that we're in and now it's it's interesting because it's the olympics and olympic year that you know we don't really think about the liberty at this point because we have us on team usa obviously jj is an all-star and we're really happy about that and yara and uh, Leo are representing Germany and, and Sandy is coaching Australia. So we're just all over the place a little bit. Next question uh, in the, um, all the way in the back to the right. Good morning, y'all. Uh, this one's for Sabrina. Uh, for anyone that's watching this year, it's clear that you look a lot more comfortable inside the arc and navigating um, inside the arc this year. 
just what kind of, if you get into specifics, what kind of film work and what kind of drill work went into that kind of improvement this year? Yeah, well, I had a really healthy off season, um, you know, which, which was, um, I think, just great for me mentally to be able to go out and train for six months on what I wanted to improve on. Um, and that was just being able to kind of use my um, strength, my length to be able to get into the paint, um, take off on one foot, which was something I hadn't been able to do early in my career. Um, not having the confidence, the strength um, after having a debilitating injury to be able to do that. And so um, being able to put in a lot of work um, and understanding ways that I wanted to continue to improve my game, um, which has helped kind of, you know, us, I think, being able to not just rely on three point shooting, but continuing to drive and kick and find ways to get my teammates open while, you know, putting pressure on defenses has been huge.